Okay, we're going to get a tray for. Basically, go to the corner of your tent slash slash kitchen, and there will always be a baking. Tray. There will always be a baking tray in the corner of your kitchen slash tent. If there isn't, write to the manufacturer. Get your money back. Oh yeah, one thing. Never do this. <laughs> I don't know why you would want to do that, but never do it. Okay, because it's dangerous. It's a hazard to your health. Okay? Very fucking serious. Put this shit in the oven. Okay? Put this shit in the oven. You wanna... Just get the tip in first. <laughs> but then shove the whole shaft right in. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my advice for you for life. Kitchen memories, part 56. Um, yeah, we made quite a lot of tea. Well, we're making quite a lot of tea. I'm not sure there's enough sugar. I'm not sure there's enough teas for both mm. of us. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sugar. Big spoon. We have transferred all of them over here, and the teaspoon has to fell in there. He's prepared. Oh shit, man! That is some mission you've got. It is. Oh, oh, I dropped my phone. Oh. <laughs> you did. Oh, shit, something's good. We've got, to, we've got to get this shit out of it. We've got to get this shit out of it. Why did you do it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. It seemed funny at the time. That one's just the deformed one. Because we've got to get the shit out of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that you didn't grow up like the other kids did. Deepest apologies. <laughs> hey, Joss. Hello. What? You changed your clothes. I know. I've come back from wetting my sleeve. Well, I did tell you that was stupid. Right, you did. And now I'm opening the oven. Ooh, burgers. <laughs> Look at these burgers. They're absolutely delicious. Ooh, see that meat, guys? All that it's meat. almost as if no time has passed whatsoever. Okay, what we want to do is want to split off these petty filu things. I mean, I, I guess you would call them an yogurt. Okay? I would call them burger apartments. Right. You want to get a burger one right here. Slam that shit to the ground. You may be wondering why I'm not burning myself. But that's because I'm magical. I've basically enchanted the whole table beforehand to repel any sort of injuries to do with burning. Ooh. So, you know, steel beams, anything. It's all good. We learned a bit of magic. Yeah, right? Here's Burger 1. You'll notice Burger 1 has become elongated like a penis, right? That's normal. Okay, you may notice that Burger 2 has become almost spherical. Okay, that's okay. You're doing things all right. Mm. Now, what you want to do, you want to get your after effects and mash that shit in there. Okay, massive after effects. Right, huge potential here. We want to get a plate. You want to bread this shit up, okay? Very simple. Now, do you want to explain what a plate is for those who don't know? Because this is a vital part in making burgers. Okay, a plate is like a ceramic type thing, mm. and it's ideal 
for frisbeeing or displaying your excellent burgers, your fucking upper class burgers. Uh, I'll be able to slash someone's face. Oh dear. I'll cut him. I'll cut you. I'll cut everyone. I'll cut myself. <laughs> that hurts. No, doesn't it? Because then they cut myself. But I'm going to cut you because I cut people. That's what I do. Hi, big man. <laughs> I'm not actually drunk. That was purely an act. Now to my good man Harry, who is? Volvo. <laughs> Looks delicious. I mean, we're talking like prime time fucking serious food here, okay? Now, the next thing you want to do is get your fucking bread out immediately. If you live in a first world country, this should be easy for you. And like, just slap this shit. Like, I mean, anywhere really. <laughs> Ooh. Spread this shit. Just to get in the table messy. Oh, well, I mean, if you get the table messy, that's okay. I mean, these are burgers after all, right? Get this pretty much level. Yeah, I mean, if your surface happens to look like a Scottish man, then that <laughs> is, that is purely yeah. cool. No, no, don't, that. You need to fix your table, man. Dude. It's bonky. I fucking already gave him his injection. It's okay. It's okay. No. No. Down. Down. Right. It's okay. <laughs> Gotta secure this meat. Yeah. I'm telling you. Right. <laughs> so, Joss. This is absolutely fine. Everything is okay. Would you like to discuss with the viewers how often you make burgers? Well, I would say very often. Mm. Okay, and you would want to listen to me with shit like this because the simplest things, you know, make the world a difference. When you're tasting that fine, you know, it, it's an exquisite palate. When you've prepared it on an unconscious Scotsman, the, the taste difference is unfathomable. Okay. Mm. Would you like to sh uh, give us a taste for the viewers? Oh yeah, I mean like this is like, I think this is burger two or something. <laughs> I don't know, but. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa, I'm eating my hair. It's good. Whoa. It's tasty burgers, guys. <laughs> Always have an unconscious Scotsman because <laughs> you may get mayonnaise in their pocket, but at least it's their pocket and not your counter. It's the end of <laughs> at the end of the day. This is where I keep my clothes. My clothes. My wardrobe. <laughs> what? My shirts. We've wasted so shirts. much food. This could be given to the Africans. Okay. This could be given to the Africans. Why? Why? Always use a Scotsman as a table. <laughs> well, I guess that sums up how to make burgers. How to make burgers the real fucking way, alright? <laughs>